Hello, welcome to my very second scope here at hashtag Tabler Scope. Thanks for being here. And I'm just, um, I'm thrilled to be doing this again. And here in a few minutes, what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna share with you some of the lessons I learned on my first pair of scope, which was last night. And I know I have a ton left to learn but um, hey, I thought for some of you who haven't uh, jumped, jumped on yet and, and done your first scope that I might be able to share a few tips that would make it, oh, just a little less scary maybe. So I'm glad you're here. Um, tell me where you're from. Hello, Miss Lauren. And tell me where you're from. Tell me um, what is it that you scope about? Because I think one of the coolest things about Periscope is that um, you, as the um, listeners, can interact with each other and follow each other. So please share what it is you scope about, and then if someone else sees what you scope about, then they're going to maybe follow you, and, and you've got um, someone new that you're going to be scoping to. Hi, Sherry. Some of you, I can't tell your names by your scope name, but that's okay. All right, so you might wonder why I have a cupcake um, in front of me here, and that is because... It is the birthday blog anniversary weekend of Tabler Party of Two, and I'm super excited about that. I've been blogging for one year at Tabler Party of Two. Hello, Inspired Findings and 180 DIY. Yeah, I've been blogging for exactly one year at Tabler Party of Two, so I'm celebrating this weekend and just thrilled that I've had the chance to share what God puts on my heart, um, whether it be recipes, DIY projects. Um, I share faith stories and emptiness travels um, with my cute husband, Tommy. Um, so that's sort of what Tabler Party 2 is about. But lately, what I've really been enjoying is helping to teach other newbie bloggers um, some of the things I've learned. So thanks for being here. Be sure to swipe to your right and share. If you're on an iPhone, swipe to your right. You can share this with your friends. Thanks for the hearts. Love getting those hearts. And... Um, also, if you're watching this on the replay, then you can also tap for hearts then. Thank you for the heart love. Okay, we're going to get started here. All right, so I'm sitting in my backyard again since I don't have any lighting yet. And ooh, I'm still learning and you've got my hand. Oops, hi. Okay, we're just going to have a hand for now. Um, let's see. I'm sitting in my backyard. I'm in Palm Desert, California. It is 107 degrees. Nice and um, warm here. And okay, note to self, I hate that you're looking at my hand with a selfie stick, but I'm gonna have to get over it for now because, oh well, it's just there. All right, so um, I'm outside because I think it's important to have good lighting when you're gonna do a periscope. And so I didn't have any good lighting in the house and I haven't ordered my cool lights yet that I'm gonna use. I know, ouch, it hurts, it's painful. Oof, I gotta get past it. <laughs> um, so I'm outside again, and here's what I want to share. By the way, hashtag, hashtag Tabler Scope whenever you want to share anything. And I'm um, definitely ask me questions, and I'll be happy to answer them um, towards the end. And yes, it's hot, so I might be a little shiny here. That's okay though. Um, so here are some things that that I learned um, on my first scope. First of all, I wanted you to know that I rehearsed it one time. And I say I rehearsed it one time and not more than once because I didn't want to be neurotic about it, but I sort of wanted to just see what it is I was going to say and how it came across and what it looked like. And the biggest thing I learned, ironically, is that my hand was in the scope and I thought, oh, I can't do that. But um, I fixed that yesterday. It's not fixed today. Um, so I was really glad I rehearsed it one time and it just was five minutes and I looked at it with my husband and it's like, okay, I'm ready to do this thing. So that was the first thing I did um, that I was really happy that I did. I also um, created a title with emojis and my personal hashtag. So I hope that you'll create a hashtag for yourself and um, always remember to put a title on there. I turned off the location because although I love all my peeps, I don't really want to advertise exactly where I live. Turned that off, made sure I set it broadcast to Twitter. And let's see, I also got on Catch Me, and um, that's K-A-T-C-H dot me. 
so that my Periscope would be recorded and wouldn't just go away forever in 24 hours, which it's about to go away, the one from yesterday. Um, another thing I did, and I'm not sure I've been doing it tonight, but that's okay, I'm learning, and I just want to help you. I wasn't looking um, just now right at the lens. You've got to look up at the little lens for your camera. You can't just stare at your face, and you don't want to stare down, and you don't, there's all kinds of things. You want to stare at the lens, so um, I try to remember to do that. Lots of things to remember. I made some notes um, when I did my first scope, just as I did tonight. I had them um, closed pin to a picture frame just so I could glance over at them. I certainly, when I say notes, I certainly wasn't reading anything from my notes, nor am I now, but they were just there to remind me of main things I wanted to mention, and that was just really helpful. I would suggest that you do that too. Um, again, I did it outside because I didn't have any lighting, and so I thought it was important to have good lighting, so I'm outside again. Um, a couple of other things, are, or another thing I learned about um, when I did my little rehearsal was uh, I realized there were a lot of flies and that's just a bummer. I thought I left all the bugs behind in Texas, but there were some flies and I realized I'm just going to have to deal with the flies and um, not freak out about the flies. So hopefully my future scopes will be inside and I won't have flies and I won't be sitting out in the 107 degree heat, which by the way in Palm Desert isn't all that bad. It's pretty dry here. A couple other things I want to share. Um, after I did my rehearsal, um, I rehearsed my scope and went to do my uh, live scope, uh, I knew I needed to do my title, but I wasn't sure how to do my title. And I've even been watching a lot of scopes. I've been taking notes. I've done an, a quickie online course and I was like, okay, I know I'm supposed to do a title, but um, where do you do the title? I had to go look it up real quick. So make sure you figure that out before you start. And then the next thing I learned was um, the camera was not facing me and I wasn't sure what to do about that. So again, I had to delay my scope, I had to run inside and Google it's something I didn't learn in the course. Thanks for the hearts. Um, I had to run inside and figure that out. All you do is double tap the screen and that will flip the camera where it's facing you and what you have to say. So that's pretty awesome. I know these are pretty minor things and a lot of you have been doing your scoping for a few weeks or months and this is pretty elementary, but I really wanted to speak to those of you who just haven't done it yet. You want to do it just like I did two days ago. I really wanted to do it, but I just hadn't um, gotten up the guts yet. So yesterday I talked about fear and having to just step through that, get to the other side of fear and know that you can just conquer it. Today's a lot easier than it was yesterday. In fact, it's actually fun now. I'm not really nervous or anything anymore. So um, that's a nice thing that once you do it once and you get over the fear, it's not so scary the next time. Um, just a couple last things I want to share with you. If you, um, let's see, I I um, blog, like I said, at tablerpartyof2.com, and we have a link party going on right now through Tuesday night. And, um, oh yeah, it's someone saying it's scary, you want to do it, just do it. Say yes, just do it. And um, if you have any questions, please do type in your questions. I'd be happy to answer any that I can. Um, anyway, if you are a blogger, go to tablerpartyof2.com and link up your favorite post for the week and share it with the world that way. And also I'm gonna be sharing on my blog tomorrow um, a little bit more about the lessons I learned on my first scope. And I'm also going to include a little checklist. I'm sure I'll be adding to the checklist, but it's gonna be a checklist that I'm gonna be using for now at least. Um, every time I get on a scope, so I don't forget things. Like, for instance, that you can see my hands holding this thing. <laughs> okay, does anyone have any questions? I'd love to answer them, and if you don't, that's cool, too. I hope you can just um, be encouraged that um, if I can do this and a gazillion others can do this, that you can, too. It's um, it's good stuff. The, the last thing that I learned that I still, I have to be honest, I haven't figured out the answer to this one. When I was ready to end my scope, I said, I'm signing off now, it's been fun. And I, um, I realized I wasn't sure how to end my scope. And I had seen a scope done by another um, new gal and she wasn't sure how to end hers. And I thought, oh, note to self, you gotta know how to turn this thing off when it's time. And, um, here I was at the end of my scope and I didn't know how to turn it off and I've researched it a little bit today and I still don't know um, other than to go back to 
facing the camera the other way. So next time I get back on here, I'm going to know how to turn this thing off from right now where it's facing me. I see others do it all the time. <gasps> Someone told me, swipe down. Okay. All right. So <laughs> thank you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Get on. Do your scope tomorrow. Okay. God bless. Let's see how this works.